which arguably brings us on to your departure from the club. Um, you didn't want to go. No, so, I never even thought of it for a minute when I walked into the, that board meeting on that Tuesday morning. I think the night before we'd won away at Crystal Palace or, or Wimbledon, one of the two, but at Crystal Palace. Um, and um, we had the board meeting the next morning and ostensibly the board meeting was nothing to do with the football side of the, the club at all. It was purely to do with the stadium. Um, and, um, you know, out of the blue, um, it just, you know, there was a coup. And after the, after the coup, I got up and I walked out and I went back to my office and I picked up my things and I've never been back. Did you, did you sense that a coup was going? No. Absolutely not. You know, they, these were people that I brought into the fold, and they were my, you know, people like um, McGinnity and Higgs and and um, uh, Michael Jepson, who was the lawyer. Um, Michael' existence as, as a lawyer depended upon when I, in effect, saved him. So it was, you know, it was completely out of out of. Um, any possible thoughts in my mind. Um, do you know why it happened? Uh, well, I do. Um, it, it, it's, you know, as is often the case, these things are usually about personal motive um, rather than good, good sense. Um, and um, this was certainly the case. It was nothing to do with, you know, um, confidence in me. They'd had, a, you know, absolute confidence in me at every single meeting all the way along and everybody kept saying, you know, doing a brilliant job, we're keeping the thing, the plans for the stadium, the deal with Tesco, you know, people don't do that and get all that done if they're not quite good at and we're doing it with the support of, of the board. Oh, oh. You can't do it unless you've got the support. This is, this is a quote from Geoffrey Ross. I know, I've heard that. I don't want to... But it, it, that's, typi that's typical politician. Can I, can I read it? Yeah, do, by all means, but it's typical so politician. He said, basically, the position was that Richardson lost the confidence of the fellow directors, he lost the confidence of his executive colleagues on the staff, and he lost the support of fans whose loyalty the success of the club ultimately depends. It is as straightforward as that. So from your perspective, that's it was not. That's rubbish. That's his usual rubbish. I mean, it's the most stupid remarks in there. So you... Oh, well, I, mean, it's, 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 I don't Lewis. know what he wrote that for anyway. He probably got nothing else better to do. I sense. Hmm? Have you and Mr. Robinson spoken since then? Sorry? Have you and Mr. Robinson spoken since then? No. Why would I? I know too much. <laughs>